What's up guys, Alexander Thomas here. Originally, this was going to be the stream, the first stream, the, the long stream, it's going to be a few but that stream took two hours, half an hour, and guess what? The sound was off the entire time. So, fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over a little short video about this. About this, how the how the series is going to the series is going to work. It's called Sports Hour. Hour, and this ha this is basically your game, though. It's not going to be. Me. I made everything, which took me you know about a year to do. Actually, about fourteen years, but precise. But I just wanted to go for air back here. But basically, we're going to talk about the few things we're going to talk. We're going to go through this season series. First off, that's the logo you're going to see it every time I do a sports hour thing. And let's see. I'll open this up. I don't think it's nope. So basically, here's what you're going to do. First off, you're going to have there's this big roster here. You're going to get access to this below the videos. As you see, there's, there's going to be a link. I haven't put the link in there yet. It will be going live once. I upload this, this, upload this um, video to this. Basically, you're going to look, you can look for these things, and you can get all this, you look at all these really cool players. This guy's on the cool, this guy's a 99, that's a 94. This guy's, you know, awful, he's an 81. So, the real thing's here. These players, in this section here, the section above, are active players, meaning that they they might play during a game. These players down here in this sections, section are non-active players. In the case of an injury occurrence, or maybe they want, maybe a player wants to maybe there's a player trade. Here, then these players might play. You can select these players, but just to know. You can select these players, and it's, I'll explain it to get into that in a second. But basically, this is the overall for your teams. And your objective is to get the most points. You can choose, the way this is going to work is there are going to be two sections. And this, is a, this is just a mock, it's not actually a tank. First setting is that you're going to see a season mode, or the season tank. And I have three names on here. We're going to assume that this is the overall. This means if the overalls were to win every game, the highest, the highest overall team was win every game, that would be the overall. Your objective is to be better than the overall, highest overall. <laughs> Please be better than the highest overall. Uh, this is me. Obviously, this is actually not, this is actually, this will be reset to 0 0 after all that. Each win you get gives you one point. On here, so each of these is worth one point at the end of the season. Um, so there are sixteen, no, eight, eighteen weeks in the season. So potentially, you have the possibility of winning. There are sixteen games in each week, up to two hundred eighty-eight points. Ten clicks. Technically, you win 288 points. Of course, you could also lose 280 points. So, you know, that's the rank. I don't expect everyone to do that. Here's what you're going to do if you want to participate in this. And there's a reason to participate in a second. I'll tell you about it. Um, you go for this to say, okay, I want to get, I wins. I pick this player, this 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 team, this team, this team. And the, this te and the teams are going to be over here. And uh, I don't have that up. Basically, it'd be something like I gotta find the. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. This doesn't work. But basically, you're gonna see something like this. Maybe not. It's not gonna be this because this is a. Uh, but here's the overall thing. But we're gonna go and talk about this. Basically, here's the way it works. You're gonna say, okay. I want to pick, I say pick the, I pick so many different players. And I'm going to go over to the um, NBL games to show you an idea of what's going on. So in your week, you're going to go and say, okay, I think all these players are going to win. 
Now, that's not necessarily what you want to do. Well, if you do that, you're probably ensure to win some games. And then you pick those to you pick those players, and then you'll say, "Okay, those are my kicks." And you'll put that in the comments below with different the videos that will be in the future. I'll go. What I'll do is I'll have a video on probably Thursday. Or it will be released on Thursday. It might not be recorded on Thursday. They'll say, okay, this game, here's what we're going to look at and say that. It's going to be like a half an hour video. It's not going to be very long. It's not going to be particularly long. And I'll go for each one of these games and say, okay, those are the games. And then you're going to say, oh, this, I'm sorry, that's, this will be on Tuesday. This will be on Tuesday. I'll show you this. Okay, right? It's Tuesday. No, it's gonna be so. This is gonna be a Thursday. This is gonna be a Thursday. If you have basically about, you can put your predictions in up to Monday. At a Monday, at about Monday at any time, if you do that, then you'll be able to um, pick. Basically, yes. you put your thing, you put your kings in below that video, and then I will show you what happened. On that, don't try to do anything out after Monday, bec or because the fact is, I will have already put in what your recordings are, what your points are, and I'm not going to change them at that point because I'm not going to go back and look at that video after it's been released. I'm looking up on looking on on Monday at noon. Well, was it Monday? No, Monday. Monday at four. By Monday at four. These are the tangle times the games hair. These games don't actually happen. So it's this is the how I say this. Um, mythic. No, it's not mythic. Uh, it's a variety game. It's not going to actually make it. Um, think of if you've ever played. I hope that most that anyone under 18 has not played this because that would, that would not be legal. Um, sports thing. If you've ever played like a draft fantasy, this sort of things. This is the idea. <laughs> That's how you win mystics. And the way and there's two possible ways to win the game and you have if your first place which I'm just gonna say this this would this is probably not gonna be where it is not counting overall I don't care if overall's first I don't care if I'm first whoever happens to be highest and this is just a mythic a uh, random name that I made up <laughs> okay I didn't make it up I just I it's, but if you if that's if you're first on the league I'm gonna give you I'm just gonna go into another name um Let's say at the end of the season, let's just think there was only one week in the season. And he picked, let's see, he picked uh, nine and uh, six. Nine, nine and seven. That was his total pick. Okay, so hit rates. If you're first at the end of the season, there will be 288 possible points to get. Then you will win, you have a chance, you will win a, you will win a prize. I don't know what the prize is going to be yet, but they will be, I will announce them, I think, probably week 17, which is quite a bit of ways. And so you do. Now, the second way you can win, there's two minutes, the prize will be somewhere around $15, up to $15, I believe. The second way you can win is by creating a team. And this is a kind of an idea what you can do. You can pick up to 13 players. Originally, I was going to limit you guys to, you know, $100,000. Uh, 100,000 points, really. I'll show you what I mean by that. If you go back to team rosters, you'll see each of these standards has. If the total amount adds up to 100,000 or less, then you're fine. If it's 100,000 more, then you probably need to, yes, because basically it. Basically, you're going to be doing that. I don't expect anyone to need 100000 to pick $100,000 because, you know, obviously, I mean, here, right here is just uh, 94000 So if you pick everyone in the Panthers, 
if you're on your team, which is that's more than 13 players. That's actually more than 13 players. But if you picked everyone in the Panthers, and let's say everyone in the Angels, that's uh, 77,000 plus, say 32,000, which is not nearly enough. Not nearly. That's slightly less, just to give you an idea. Of course, if you pick someone that has. You pick every expensive player possible, whether or not they have a good. You know, so like if you picked Raven Knob, you picked Alex, you know, that was 30,000 right there. And you pick. Um, the highest rated player of all things, you'll probably get over that amount. Try, try to limit it down a little bit to below 30,000 to 100,000. Then what you'll do is you'll put it, you'll get 13, you'll put 13 teams. Each week, we're going to assume that this is, we're assuming this is the end of week one. It's not the end of week one, we're, this is just a chance. Let's assume that this is my, this is what I picked. This is the pick for me. I picked three players. I don't. I don't really know what the overall is. You have to put. You have to tell me what the players are at the time. And the Panthers won. And the Lions won. And the Dragons won. They lost. So what I'll get is I get one point for each team I have that uh, each team I have correct with a correct player. Who a player is. So this doesn't count as six points. It counts as one point for each one of those. It's two points. This one's a loss, so I get zero points for that. I get no points for any teams that lost. But I get one point for this. And this could be that, and this, if you have, if you have like a zero on a week or something like that, then you might say, oh, well, that might be because you didn't put a team in or it might be because your team didn't know your team's won. Bramble, maybe she checked all dragons. Who knows? And dragons all lost. So the best basically way to do this is would be to pick probably at least three teams, three or so teams, so you have a good chance. Yes. And you get your overall and all that. Um, in the case there is a tie, let's assume that at the end of this, let's assume we both chose the same team somehow. At the end of the week or end of the year, let's say that I have. 188 points and she has 188 points. That doesn't really make much sense because that actually won't make it. Uh, it was the same, we got a perfect, this is exactly, let's say the Dragons lost every game. And yes, and we both have at the end of the season 32 points. Somehow, that was how it worked. That's how it worked out. What The way it works is then I'll look at your overall of your entire team. Now this one, if these were the same team, it wouldn't make a difference. But let's just say that um, that would be how we decide how I decide ties. And ties only really matter if it is first place. It doesn't matter if anything else. So I don't know how many players it will be that will be nominated here. You will say basically. During this, on this video, know the video, don't put it anywhere else. Um, these are the players I want to put on my team. And, try, and you can do this up to 219, which is the first game of the season. Now we'll go back to the end of the old games. You can see that's 219 for 221. Those will be your. You have until two, probably two, I'm going to say here, I want to say you have until 217 because I will release a video on 218 for the games that happen on 19, 20, 21. And the way I determine how games work is I will go to Google, a random, and use a random, you know, between 1 and 40, I believe it will be, and I'll do it four times for each team. The team that has the highest amount of points, then we win, and that would be the score also. 
If the case that the tie, you go to overtime, there would be an additional one. It would probably be only ten. It would probably be only twenty points then at max. Team that has the highest score wins. In the case that it happens to be a tie both times, boy, that would be it's, Then it become the game becomes a tie. And this is how each one of them is going to work. So Monday by three, all the games will be have done. Will be done. So if you have not picked, predicted your things by Monday, about four-ish, then you may not get the option to get your answer. Your score will probably remain zero. If you don't pick anything, you get zero for that one. But don't worry so much about that because here's the thing. First place in each of these cases wins $15 in value. That's some sort of prize. I don't know what's going to be at the moment. <coughs> All you need to do is say, into this video, I want this player, this player, this player, and this only players. And I also want, or I want to be part of it. That's all you need to set to in this video. And that's basically it. These will go back to zero now because it's the only two things that will show up, and you won't you will have access to this one, but you won't be able to do anything to it. This is just messed up. This thing. And basically, these two guys, these things, basically they're higher. They don't count. I will be a part of it as well, but I will get points. This is not my team, by the way. This is just an example. Basically, that's going to how it's going to work. If you have those players, that's what you're going to get. And say, for each team that won, you get one point. For each team that lost, you get no points. And you have 13 players, and there's technically no limits. And you can put any players on your team. Uh, you can put... If you want to, you can put every one of the Angels on the field. I mean, if you do that, whatever the Angels record is, that's what you're going to get. You can put one of every player on it. They can't do one of every player. That doesn't work. You can do uh, 13 different players from different teams. Then you have the best chance of, you know, doing really well, I guess. I don't know. Here's the thing about there's the, the advantage of doing less teams is that you might have a higher record. Higher amount of points when we get to this. You might have a high amount of points. This doesn't matter anymore. You might have higher amount of points. If you do multiple teams, like you have way too many teams, you might have a really low amount. Where you won't, yeah, you won't, basically you won't lose, you will have probably, you might, for example, let's assume you do 13 different players. And let's say half those teams won, half those teams lost. Well, that's not half and half. Six and seven. Let's say it's six and seven. You get six points. So that is not a bad strategy, but the problem is if you put them in, you will have lost points as well. The basic idea. For season overall, whatever your um, picks are, that's your pick. So you basically could get 288 points at the end. Uh, there will be also a pot, and then this goes until the playoffs. I will talk about the playoffs in a second. Um, basically, each one of these sheets, these little bl they have a little blue. It's, these are your main things you want to look at. You won't be able to change these, but this is the idea of what the predictions are. Um, and then in the corner, if it's bold, that is predicted to go to the playoffs. And their overall, it's or in this minute. That's their predicted, this, are, this will be their predicted record. This will be the predicted, that's the, that's the name of the team. These are all the games they're going to play. And every team plays five games, five in the division. It's not six, it's five. This is based off of the NFL. Um, it's 2003. 2017, but it's not this at all the same. 
as well. Obviously, you don't. I don't know any team named the Hawks in the. Okay, I, I don't know any team named the Hawks in the NFL. I don't know any team named the Athens. Athen. <laughs> Or even the Superman. <laughs> Try to find one of those. And you won't find one of those since the Knights either. So you get, some of these teams are going to be their dogs. Or things, the ants. Uh, but you know you have teams that will be in there like Ravens. The Dolphins are in there. The Eagles. That's not a thing. Um, they might have, you might have a few teams that do actually occur in... Do you have teams against? I'll actually can, can I show you? This is going to be what the season thing is going to look like. You'll have access to this document. You can't, won't be able to change anything. I haven't shared it yet. So, there'll be, it'll be linked to this one. And I'll edit it and say yes. Um, just going to go to this will be wins, losses, ties. If that happens, it might happen. I don't know if it will. Points, total points scored. Points per game, which is the average of the total games. The percentage, which I really need to change. We're not looking at expected record, forget that. And this will be all of those. And it, at the end of, I think, week 13, I'll start putting up some ideas about who might make playoffs. That's the sort of thing we're going to talk. We'll get there. So what you get, what you have to, what you're gonna need to do is pick up to 13 players from anywhere here. If that team wins, you get a point on this list here on your team. Then each week on Thursday. Or should I say, by third, by Friday, you predict here which, what you, um, what do you think, your, each, who, what do you think it's each week's friends? And I'll stay, I'll have a video on Friday that will give you like the little idea. You can predict on that video what you think is going to be the wins and losses of each team. Each win gives you a point, each loss doesn't give you a point. Highest overall will get a prize in both categories. And you guys can feel free to look through this. Also, you can feel free to comment any like, I don't love this. And I don't, I didn't put all of them. Did I put all the numbers? Any teams? Okay, I did put I did put all the numbers in below these. Oop, I didn't put them all here, but that's fine. We'll go, we'll go. I'll put those. But basically, these numbers here are the overall for the team, and you can get access to that also because it is also here in new pairings, so you can tell which teams are in it. This is irrelevant. You don't have to really worry about that. All this here is kind of you know pointless. Here is the areas, the sections, so you can look at all the teams for all the sections. As if you want to, team rosters are right here. At the end of the season, playoffs, it's going to be the same thing as the NFL. Exactly the same. Um, you'll get if your team is the. I will also say if you predict on the first within the first week, who by like by the end of the fight on by two twenty one, who you think is gonna make playoffs? If that team makes playoffs, there may be an additional reward. I don't know for sure whether it will be a. If there will be another war for that yet. And you won't have access to this one, but you'll have access to this one, this one. You can't change anything, but that's the sort of thing that you'll be able to you'll be able to see all this. Uh, the green sections are just basically what you want to 
probably look at the most. And you can look at any of these things too. They don't. It doesn't really matter. This is last season's, by the way. That tangly. This is tangly the most of all, the most wins of all time. Jeez, who? I want to know why Piper Wimbley. Piper Wimbley is on the Panthers, and, and you will see why. Um, the Panthers have demolished, been been really incredible in their last in their season. Look at this. Look. <laughs> they actually one bobble here too. But they have had some really good players, and honestly, it depend, it, I honestly hope Panthers don't, in this case, don't make it all the way to the ball bowl and win again. <laughs> I want to see something. Else. I don't I want to know. There were a few things that were really weird that happened last year. Um, the, for example, the Saints got six by six ties. <laughs> How you had six ties, I don't even know. Uh, playoffs from last year and this will look like I'll have this little sheet like this in there and that would be what it would look like I probably won't I probably will break down some somewhat but I won't do much about that so that's what's going to be about um, basically all you have to do what you if you want to participate in this thing and possibly get a chance of getting 15 dollar prize by two seventeen or eighteen, somewhere in that time period, you just need to tell me. You just need to send me. You just need to. You just need in the comments below this video. Say, hey, I want to get these players, and you just write down. You just type the players into the comments. These thirteen players. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of room, so you don't have to, probably don't have to worry about. Yes, if you can't, then you can put it into two different uh, comments. If you, yes, yes. Um, here's what I will say: try to get you know a defense back, a point guard, and a forward at least one, just to make it more reasonable. I don't care if you, you know you choose you know an entirely defensive team, and then everything else is a if you have two and most of it's point guards, and they have one forward. That's not a problem to me. And try to limit it to a hundred thousand. I don't think you have a problem. I'll pick my team out and uh, release it in the first store time. Uh, sorry, not store time. Sports hour episode, second sports hour episode, which will take place on the 16th. I will do this on the 16th. Uh, thank you guys for watching this, and um, I'll release these things shortly. Thank you guys for. And don't forget, guys, to keep your game on.